Hello fellow modelers, in this video I am going to build very unusual sci-fi model. It is V-Nautilus from Nadia the Confidence of the Blue Water, which is Japanese anime television series inspired by work of Julius Verne. The kit is made by Kotobukiya. If you didn't heard about this manufacturer yet, you shouldn't be upset. I didn't know also. In any case, the kit has lovely plastic parts with a perfect casting precision. Quality is similar to Bandai kits and the whole model is in 1 to 1000 scale, which is ideal because I already built Eiffel Tower in the same scale. And if you watched this TV series, you probably already know what will happen in the end. But first, let's assemble and paint the model. I decided that every my sci-fi model needs LEDs, so even this one will not be different. Therefore, I need to modify and separate central cone on the engine parts. And this part is for the main bridge. But it looks dull, so I'm trying to drill some holes for LEDs. The hull should have a lot of tiny windows, and I want to use for this purpose optical fibers. But first, I need to drill a few holes for them, and I purchased from eBay box with a micro drill bits, which are perfect for this purpose. I removed 5 central cones from engines. I think it would be good if they were transparent. So I will create molds and cast them from clear resin. Now I'm creating box around parts from plastic board. This is silicon rubber, which usually creates lovely and very detailed mold.
I am using two component transparent resin for casting. I have only slow drying resin, so I must wait for two days. And this is the result. Ok, back to the model. The glue is properly dry, so now I can cover gaps and seam lines with a Tamiya white party and unify surface with a grey primer. Now it only remains to clean party and rescribe panel lines. I use for this purpose razor saw. I think the surface is prepared for painting. It will be the most colorful model so far. I primarily use acrylic colors and this time mostly only basic color shades. Also the model is from anime series. So therefore I want to paint each color with a pronounced shading and highlights. I fix and protect paint job with a clear varnish. I usually use a lot of thinner, so the final result of the clear varnish is more or less semi-gloss or satin. Never mind, now the funny part of the model. Of course LEDs and optical fibers. Light emitting diodes are handy electronic components because installation is straightforward. And you can find a large variety of the sizes and types. For example, for engines I use ordinary 3mm white LEDs. I'm going to use 12V power supply, so that I can connect 4 LEDs in one series. 
However, if you want to plug only one LED for 12 volts circuit, you will need resistor. You can simply calculate the required value with your own law. If you already saw a few of my videos, you probably know that I use optical fibers for my Star Destroyer from Star Wars. However, I used a relatively large diameter of 0.75mm. I didn't realize that exists even thinner. So this time I did my homework correctly and I found super thin fibers with 0.2mm thickness. It was more expensive than the old one, but the quality of the material is better. I highly recommend use water-based or not aggressive adhesive for gluing. Even the super glue can damage fiber material. I already paint the model so that I can align fibers with the surface. The only annoyance is that PVA glue drying time is very slow. So I must wait for a few hours after each fiber installation. Also, I don't use my old UTP cables and I instead purchased the whole coil with a thin conductor and heat shrink tubes for wire insulation. I have four parallel circuits and each one have four white LEDs. And I must check if is everything correctly connected before fuselage assemble.
in the end I apply washes and paint small details. And in addition, I created a large diorama with Eiffel Tower, but all this in another video. Thanks for watching and see you next time!